On May 9, 2022, the Philippines will hold the next national elections. The nation's citizens are given the power to vote for who they want to lead the nation for six years. The question is, have you already decided who to vote for? Among the 97 individuals who had the intention of running for president, one has caught my attention, and that is Vice President Maria Leonor Santo Tomas Arona, also known by her stage name as Lenny Robert. Her filing of candidacy for presidency was totally a shocking <gasps> for everybody. Most of the citizens and even politicians kept on discrediting and belittling her potential. But honestly, I think she fits the role of being the leader of this country. Let me present the reasons as to why should we vote for her in this coming 2022 national elections. Number 1. She has an outstanding educational background and attainment. Lenny Robredo completed her high school education in 1982 at the Universidad de Isabel in Naga. Afterwards, she pursued and completed a college degree at the University of the Philippines, Diliman, in 1986. After getting a degree, her education doesn't stop there, as she also secured a degree in law at the University of Nueva Caceres before taking up her master's degree at San Beda University. By just looking at her educational background, you could say that she is a reputable and competent enough to lead the country. But educational background and attainment isn't just the only factor that we should consider. We also have to consider and look for the things that one has done for the country. And this leads to the second reason. Number two, she is dedicated in serving her own country. She is this type of person that is decent, caring, and sincere. She has done lots of programs and has authored several laws throughout her six-year terms as a vice president. Some of her authored laws are full disclosure policy bill, which would have mandated all government agencies and their subunits and projects to disclose their budget and financial transactions in a conspicuous manner. The People Empowerment Bill which sought to allow more participation from Filipinos in decision and policy making. And of course, the Comprehensive Anti-Discrimination Bill that prohibits discrimination on the basis of ethnicity, race, religion of or belief, language, disability, HIV status, and others. Two of her programs launched were the Angat Buhay that was launched in October 2016 that aims to bring together the public and private sectors, organizations and individuals alike to address the needs of the families in the farthest and the poorest communities in this country. And the program Ahon by Lion Coalition, which is a platform for determining the needs of the communities, especially for the poorest sectors of the society. Lastly, her response towards COVID-19 is very quick. The office of the vice president provided dormitories and transport for frontline health workers in Metro Manila and Cebu. They also provided hot meals for health workers and distributed PPEs towards the frontliners. At least 45,000 testing kits were sent to the Philippines. She has also plans in response for the COVID-19 problem called the Kalayaan sa COVID plan. To sum up everything that had been stated so far, we need to carefully decide as to who should we vote in these coming elections. Our votes are crucial because it dictates what our future would be as a nation. We need to vote for candidates who are worthy, competent enough to make a change for the country, not ignorant to the current issues and problems of the country, and of course, has a heart for its nation. Based on the information that are presented above, it shows that Vice President Lenny Robredo is indeed fit and capable of leading the country. Let's make sure that our powerful votes would result to a brighter future of our nation. Again, vote wisely.